YouTube. Uh, sorry I haven't been updating you guys much, but I've been very busy. Here's the throttle cable for that bike over there. I'll show you. I just need a choke cable for it and some fuel line. Charge my battery and I'm good. That's the Suzuki Intruder I got. Here's a little update on my PA50. Uh, I bought a new carburetor for it. Uh, that's my universal headlight for it. Uh, that was like $27, no, no, it was $22 from eBay. This was like $22. I was going to put it on my XR, but I traded that to get my Coleman back. Now I have my CT200. So that's what's going to go in the front. I'm going to put that light on. It's not OEM, but it's definitely me. So, have I taken this apart for you guys? I've spent $40 on a new back tire for it. And I spent another $8 uh, getting a, a throttle cable. I spent uh, $40 on this whole assembly. Well, I don't get that. I just get the, the grip on that side, and I get this whole assembly on this side. So, yep, this baby's going. Is that, what's a D comp? What is that? These wires are so old. It needs to be replaced, so. Uh, well, it's not the only thing that's been replaced on here. New chain. Look at that. Yeah. Those pedals are definitely not OEM. That came off a mountain bike. I don't know what bike because that's what it came with when I got this bike for free by my neighbor Brett. The guy that I got this from said he bought it for 800 bucks from eBay. And, um, he's never touched it. They dropped it off. Some northern Cali, Cali people came by and dropped it off. And, yep. It's been sitting ever since. Oh, guess what, guys? I have to spend money to clean this tank. I'm not sure how much it is, probably around the $30 range, so let's see, $38 for the chain, um, it's, it's like, it's like, no, this was 20, no, it was $27 plus $15 in shipping, whatever that means in price, I'll add it up in a minute. Um, that headlight was $20, the cable that I bought, another 8 so carburetor chain, this, clean the gas tank, headlight, tire, oh, the tubes, they cost just as much as the tires for this thing. No, not really. They're like, but JP Cycles costs a lot for shipping. Uh, they make you fill out like a two-hour survey after purchasing an item from them for the first time, 
and I told him, well, I can't really give you an opinion until I see my item and see if it is worth thirty-eight, thirty-seven. When it's advertised $25 or something, they charge like $15 for shipping. And they're the only people that have it. And the only other people that have tires for these bike or bikes are out in England and Switzerland and they charge random amounts for that. So this is my update. You know what? I'll give you guys a little sneak peek of the Coleman. And I don't have the XR no more. But I do have my Coleman back. And I have missed her. Um, I just need a master link for the chain. So. Okay, I'm just still chilling back there. <laughs>